All right, this is going to be a quick message. Oh, a lot of, uh, I would say this is definitely um, Divine Masculine Energy. I'll take out Resonates. This is pretty cool. So, you guys, I just finished doing a meditative session. It's pretty awesome. I mean, I think it was awesome. I, I loved it. It's uploading. I don't know when it'll be done uploading. So, it's about like 48 minutes long, but... I did some visualization stuff in there to connecting to animal guides, animal spirits, just really cool. Um, totally improv, like just on the spot, did it. Okay, check it out when it's uploaded. So we've got the emperor here, right? You know what's interesting? It's the emperor and the king of wands and what's right in the middle of the high priestess. This divine masculine, this group of divine masculines really connecting to their intuition and to their uh, I do feel that he's learned a lot of this. Well, not learned. Um, let's just say follow with the follow of the leader here. He's learned. He has learned from his feminine. Okay, so um, which connects to a sacred purpose in his divine path as well. So because the intuition card came out and master number twenty two, I believe, is uh, the divine masculine energy with the builder energy. So I just thought this was really cool. So it's definitely connecting to his intuition more, his emperor energy with intuition. All right. Not only do we have that, we have we have the ten of wands, the two of pentacles in reverse, and the five of swords. So this is getting this is getting out of back and forth, back and forth energy. I'm getting out of mental conflict and one upping. Like this could be with a karmic person, but it's just like the mind games and all that. Just balance is coming in to be fair here as well that's an 11 is also so putting down the burden he knows he has to do this so he could be doing it um and it's coming from a place of going towards that to that uh hermit energy and self-love and realizing like i am worth so much like i deserve so much greatness in my life and so he is like quickly going towards something the knight of swords here with the judgment card as well right next to it so this is an awakening this is coming to um i mean see how her, it's like her higher self is like embodying this um this picture you know so the and see ooh, and see how it's the high priestess and the judgment see how similar energies so this divine masculine group is really tapping into their intuition and not only this tether tapping into it, they're using it now. Like they're using it because they know like there has to be a completion in their life. There's something that needs to close out an old cycle. And we also have the moon here. So that's a lot of intuitive energies, secrets being revealed, um, you know, seeing beyond the illusion of separation of the divine counterparts because they already are connected all right so and it's having the strength to know that we've got a also got a lot of major arcanas out here a lot of major energies and it's like the seven of swords the star and six of cups it's like he's sneaking away like he's strategizing how to get to his wish fulfillment to his destiny he knows that this is part of his destiny now like there's a sudden realization even though the tower is not out here the the judgment card is out here so um, and the round and round, you know, this speaks about just um, what I feel like is cycles and things just going round and round and round. But it's also like catching that wave. Yeah, it's like finally catching that good wave and riding that wave. So I feel like the masculine is really seeing like, I got to catch this wave before I lose it. So let me connect. Let me follow the leader. Like, let me see what, let me uh, learn from my fe feminine, focus on what I want to create here with the high priestess, this field of dreams. Um, so just something that he has, to, he knows he has to take the strength to end this old cycle. He knows his destiny, six of cups. He knew this person before past life. Um, there's definitely a reunion here for a sword. So he could be getting, um, over some healing heartbreak, breakup. Um, what's underneath it? The magician in reverse. Ooh, yeah. Two of swords. So the man, this masculine could be getting, or a group of masculines could be getting over, you know, manipulation with the magician in reverse from other people and standing up for themselves, the king of wands and the emperor. I mean, right there, like that's some passionate, strong solar plexus energy. Like I'm coming forward. He's strong. He's, 
you know, having to have great courage and strength to see past the illusions, to see where maybe it went awry, you know. But the lesson is to keep going and to fight for what you want. Because look at this, okay? You got the heart with the flowers, the love. It's like King of Cups energy has so much love for this feminine over here. It wants to bring her flowers or do something nice. But it's like, look at this. This came out right after. I'm like, what? So this is two separate energies. It's almost like he has to cut out the mischievous. This is a rat card. So this is like, this is annoyances. This is irritant. Like cutting that out of his life so that he can offer this. I mean, that makes sense. You know, we have to clear out cycles before we can start this fresh new one. And look at these cards. Like, dang, dude, this is freaking... <laughs> <laughs> we have I was talking about destiny right throne your potential is endless I'm sitting on their throne and then destiny divine purpose passion and service there's a nine we are in nine the month of nine and nine nine is coming up um wasn't there a nine this is nine nine two ninety nine um nine nine seven okay you can look that up eternal flame ancestral legacy what I say Destiny, destiny, legacy, legacy, this field of dreams, the star, it all like, it's just so obvious. Like this reading is just so obvious that there needs to be something cut out. These mice, whatever, these could represent other people just trying to get in the way of this, you know, what he really wants. So divine is like, we got your love partnership. All right. Uh, with the eight there it's like in infinite right it's infinite there's no separation okay they're gonna balance out the scales to be fair and we're gonna get past this mental conflict putting the burdens down this is your sacred purpose masculine this is your destiny you know yeah and, and for some you know for some masculines they're part of their their legacy too is building with the feminine and with children as well you know these star children these with the next generation of children and to assist that so that could be part of this sacred purpose their destiny but i love how there's we've got like a princess queen here and we've got like this you know kind of like sorceress witch energy we've got the mermaid so e it's like you know masculines feminists too you are your authentic self. Claim it. Sit on your throne. Straighten out your crown. And keep it moving. Like, keep going forward. Because your potential is endless. It is. Like, when we think about our potential, like, and when ideas come through, and then you act on those ideas. Like, you act on those, those things. And we get out of our, like, oh, I'm not good enough energy. And we, we see our worth. And we, then, and we get out of this energy. And we move it forward. And it's like... It, it, it's endless. The potential is endless. Okay. Uh, I just want to get like one more card. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah. Come home to yourself. Escape it. So this is not about escaping your life. This is about coming home to yourself. So this, yeah, it's like, this is your sacred purpose. I really feel this is directed at the masculines right now. This specific reading is for the masculines. That your destiny is the throne, is your divine inheritance, is who you are. That is the truth. The Ace of Swords, yeah, okay, so these two cards came out, and I left it right here, and just in my bowl here, because um, it's like, I know the truth. The hermit went in, and he found his light, and he knows this crown belongs to him. You know what I mean? His sacred divinity, his sacred path. So he's strategizing how to get towards his Six of Cups, his, his love, past love, past life. And it's destiny, the star, and it's healing. These kind of connections, these true love partnerships, it's healing. And it can heal, every, like it can heal all kinds of stuff. You get together and you come forward with this love and it's like powerful and it can transform your whole life in the best way. Like in the ways we don't even know because what is this connection? It's divine. So the divine knows what the divine is doing. You know what I mean? So, divine knows, like, yeah, completion, again, with nine, we keep getting the nine, so there's something very significant about nine, nine, and I did watch Jen McCartney's last video, it was very powerful, um, I don't know if you know who she is, but she's amazing, um, 
Let's get a Moonology card. Oh my gosh. A fiery climax approaches. I don't have anything else to say with that. <laughs> so yeah, masculines, you got this, all right? Divine Masculine Emperor Energy. And there's a lot of, um, what I feel, there's a lot of telepathy and, uh, cause the High Priestess to me is also the Divine Feminine. So also very much connected to the Divine Feminine right now, as far as like telepathy and connectedness into the, in the 5D and the spiritual. So yeah, it's coming together. There's something, it's beautiful. I'm just gonna leave it at that. All right, thanks, bye.